Hello and welcome. So I want to point out a few things in this video. The second clip in this video is a drop I get from Next. I get an effigy and it's only one effigy. Next on Double Loot Weekend does not drop two effigies even though I think when Next came out somebody put on the artist wiki that Next dropped two effigies and it was on there for quite a while. But at the end of the video there are two clips of James, Born, and I being at Bandos were low HP darking, and I get at 850 EXP, but I don't get to see the hit. So I'm wondering what that hit could have been. Before the clip, there is a 929 hit. I get about 650 EXP. So I'm wondering what a 850 would have been. So this is the second double loot weekend Jagex has done. The first time, next was not that crowded, but then this weekend it is really crowded. You have practically a team on every world and it's kind of hard to get a world without actually crashing somebody. Then you get all this drama that you get from crashing a different clan so on and so on. But the thing I liked about this weekend was my the clan I was in. They did a free-for-all no split event which is something I really love to do. When Next came out it was all free-for-all because of the low GE prices. So you could make a lot of money if you knew how to next because in the free for all teams in my clan you got to keep whatever you got except for the next items so the onyx bolts, torso seeds, if you got any of those you got to keep it that meant if you knew how to next you could make a lot of money which is where taking advantage of updates come in by figuring out updates when they come out you have an advantage over other players now over time, people will figure it out, but it took people ages to figure out how to finally next. Well, all you needed to know in Free For All was to know how to anti-tank and how to overload and brew. Now overload boosts your stats up every 15 seconds. A crossbow has a speed of 3 seconds on rapid. So if you brew every 5th crossbow hit, which is 15 seconds, you'll stay potted. Now this doesn't work too well with Mage because Mage only goes up by 7 and you brew lower than that. Now knowing this I got about 4 out of 6 kills per trip back then. So this free for all no split event we had 6 man team with 5 minute kills. We were doing 10 item switches going from full Torva, Goliath Glove, Steadfast, Vigor which was actually really fun trying to do like a 10 item switch without losing a tick in your hits. But the no split events, they usually do not last that long because people are just not into the idea of losing that much money. Well, the chance of losing that much money. Now, I got two out of the seven kills in the event, but the thing I like is for this event, there's a lot more active nexters. So we're practically nexting all night. Just we don't really want to get off because there is that chance where while we're asleep, somebody's gonna get a double perfect body and we're not gonna be there for the split. Which is a terrifying idea because when Next first came out with the terrible drop rate, before they did the, what was it called? The Next Big Thing, it was like a 1 out of 150 drop. So if you weren't there for the split, then you practically wasted the past 10 hours of Nexting. But anyway, for the last topic of this video, the Make It Back From Your Hack, I've tried twice, I didn't get any Glaven boots. Wait, is Steadfast better than Glaven? I don't remember. But I have, I think, one more try. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.